So today I am going to talk about one essential item we have for boondocking, which is our Renogy 100 watt solar panel. This is a portable suitcase style panel. The two panels will come together, they clip, and we have a nice little kind of briefcase thing that we can pop it in to protect it. This for us is an absolute essential when we are boondocking. We don't have any solar on the RV. What we've found is this little 100 watt solar panel will actually keep our two six volt batteries charged um, when we are out in a place like this and there is full sun. It allows us to use our devices, turn on the inverter, charge things, run the fans, and then have enough juice left in the batteries to go all night until we wake up the next morning and reposition the solar panel. Now the beauty of this panel is the fact that we paid less than $300 for it. Uh, we didn't have to drill anything into the RV. There is no installation. All we do is take the cable with alligator clips at the end and attach it to the terminals on our batteries. Uh, we have two house batteries. These are six volt batteries. We also like the fact that it's portable. We can put this in the Jeep, we can fit it in our bays, and if we ever decide to sell this current RV, we can take it with us. Another great feature of this solar panel is, since it is on the ground, we can turn it to adjust it to get an optimal angle at the sun. Uh, there are legs on the back that'll adjust the height of the panel, and then we just turn it and it follows the sun during the day. Some of the downsides of the panel. First of all, the cord on the panel is only so long. And since it has to be connected directly into the battery terminals, uh, we can only move it around the RV so far. Now I have seen that you can get an extension for this cord and a few people who have bought this have told us that they've used the extension, they really like it. Now when we got the first unit, it was actually defective. Uh, there were problems with the stand itself and some of the threads were stripped out. We were able to return it with no issues. They sent us a new one. This one has been fine. Uh, the only other issue we have with this panel is that the charge controller is not waterproof. It's actually not even water resistant. So if it starts to rain, we have to bring the panel in. Energy will sell the panels without the charge controller. So if you already have a charge controller or you have a specific charge controller you want to use, you can buy this panel and just wire it directly into that. The charge controller that comes with these has a very easy to read display panel. There are all different settings that allow you to program different things. We just leave it do its thing. And the only thing we typically check is to make sure one, it's working, and two, to see how many volts and how many amps the panel is putting out. A great example of how well this little panel works when we were in Tucson, we were out there for nine days. We had sunny skies, which meant full sun all day long. And the little panel was actually able to keep us from running the generator the full nine days we were out there. That allowed us to turn on the inverter so we could grind coffee, charge our devices. We had lights on, we were running the water pump, the fans. We also watched TV. This little panel packs quite a punch. If you're interested in this exact panel, we will link to that in the description below. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to help us make more, please consider contributing through YouTube's fan funding. We will put a link in this video, uh, but you can also find it on our homepage. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions about this panel and how it works, let us know in the comments below.